Hi, I'm Mickey Coles, and today I'm going to talk to you about prepping your cabinets in your kitchen or your bathroom. The first thing you want to do is you want to clean your cabinets well. I have a couple products that I like to use and I'm going to walk you through how to do it. One is Simple Green. I love Simple Green and you buy it and then you dilute it yourself according to the package directions. So here I've diluted it according to the package directions which is a half a cup of Simple Green and a half a cup of water. So one to one is good for heavy duty cleaning and that's what you want to do on your kitchen cabinets. The other product is called Crud Cutter Gloss Off and I love to use this product when the surface is very very glossy. I'm not going to use it today because my surface is not super glossy but it does cut the gloss and you don't have to rinse it. What I like to do is put it directly in to a spray bottle. You don't need to dilute it and then you can spray it on and clean your furniture. The second part of the cleaning process as you'll see that I'm going to do when you're doing kitchen cabinets is you want to use denatured alcohol to really get in there and remove that kitchen grease and grime and you really need to do this it's very important because kitchen cabinets could be harboring some grease that you may not get off with simple green so let's begin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the simple green and I'm going to spray and I'm going to spray my cabinets just like this, just like this one. This is a manufactured cabinet door, mass produced, but it still needs to be cleaned. So I like to take green scrubby sponge and use the green side and scrub it. I do not have to sand. If you feel like you need to sand, that's up to you. But if you clean them really, really well with this method, and clean everything, the sides, the bottoms. And don't forget that when you're painting kitchen cabinets or your cabinets, you're also going to want to do the back. But here today, I'm just going to show you the front. So we've cleaned Simple Green really, really well. And then this does not have to be rinsed, which is awesome. So I just wipe it dry. Now normally, on a piece of furniture, this is enough to really clean it and you're fine and the grease is done, but like I said, kitchens, you need to do step two. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this denatured alcohol, get it on a rag and use it as the final, final scrub. And what I found is the thing that people forget is to get down into the grooves. So I'm using my fingers and I'm pressing down into those grooves to get rid of any kind of residue that could be there. And you can kind of see it really has taken a little bit of the sheen off and it's prepped this piece really nicely. And it pretty much dries to the touch. So I would go clean all my cabinets and then I'd be ready. We'll clean three of them and start painting. And we'll come back and we'll paint the first coat. <laughs> 